4-1 losing for Stanford Bridge. I know if you remember the last time I see this kind of thing. How, how you see the match? Uh, I believe uh, as of last season, um, you know, before we play Madrid yeah. in Champions League, yeah. and uh, this was the kind of thing that happened. Yeah. Which Brentford win them yeah. five one? I'll be something like West Brom. West yeah. Brom, I yeah. understand. Yeah. 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 So I think um, Chelsea is under pressure because they are they are looking at uh, Champions League now. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. That is the reason why you know it's not easy. Yeah. Due to their pressure and all the rest, the so club you know, buying, the selling, you know, and all that. So I think uh, this is the main reason why you know we are, they are human beings. The players are human beings, yeah. so they are looking up to Champions League winning than this Brentford, yeah. and uh, they are going to surprise us if they win Madrid. Yeah. You understand? So that is it. Yeah. So don't look them down because they lose this match. Yeah. We believe they are going to win Madrid just like last season. It happens. So that is it. Well, was it the case of underrating Brentford today? Um, no, no, not just like that. But I am still looking at the pressure which they are passing through. Yeah. You understand? That is it. Because Chelsea have been winning matches and <laughs> people will be talk and say one day this whole pressure will catch up with them and I will see. Today. Uh, they don't they win match. You understand? I see they tell you about the Madrid match we will need. That one they very important. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Not be say we don't underrate these people. If you look where the players and on the bubble themselves yeah, yeah. to you know to try to score goal, to try to equalize, maybe three three before the last goal, maybe four one now can enter. Yeah. So not be the players' fault. And if you look Brentford, they are not having a lot of pressure against them. Yeah. They don't have a, a match like the way Chelsea have against Madrid. You understand? So they came out full house with full strength to play. So Chelsea, I think they are minimal. The players they are minimizing their strength due to what they are taught against Madrid. You understand? It doesn't like you know there's there's what they call scale of reference in economics. So the, 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 the opportunity cost Chelsea have is the Madrid match that we have. You understand? So that if you say is, is it what it is it what it losing like this embarrassingly at home to a team that lost game promotion this is uh, according to my own view, you understand eh? Uh, uh, well, it is embarrassing, but uh, we are going to pay it back by winning Madrid. That is it. Yeah, yeah. And then, um, in terms of uh, Timo Werner, now matches like this way, then put and went in supposed to do well, Abi, but again, he didn't take his chance today. You know about Timo Werner? All I know about Timo Werner, eh? The difference between Timo Werner and Lukaku is Timo Werner knows how to position. Yeah. You understand? But he does not have the technical, you know, know how to finish. But if it comes to Lukaku, Lukaku cannot, does not know how to position, but he knows how to score goal. If you look at him very well, due to how he does not know how to position, many defenders can mark him. But in Moena, it is very difficult for defenders to, to mark him because of the, the, his, technical, his technical, you know, playing, ability of positioning. He knows how to position very well. That is the reason why it is very difficult for defenders, you know, to mark him yeah. uh, an attacker that knows how to position it will be very very difficult for a defender to, to mark him yeah. but Lukaku due to the fact that he does not know how to position that is the reason why a defender can just mark him like that you understand but the little chance he will have there will be a goal you know that is that is the difference between Timo Werner and uh, Lukaku that is the difference and I want to tell you another thing about Timo Werner due to that positioning of Timo Werner he knows how to assist a player that great chances for his team is exactly so this is this is the advantage of a player that knows how to position you understand you understand the difference between a midfielder and uh, an attacker is the positioning. If you don't know how to position as a midfielder, people won't catch you as a midfielder. Yeah, yeah. So Timo Werner has this techniques of positioning. Yeah. That is the reason why it is very easy for him to assist. Yeah, assist. To assist. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Timo Werner assists more than scoring. Yeah, yeah. You understand? So the reason why Tuchel normally use him is because of his assistance. Yeah. You understand? So not just because he does not know how to score goals or knows how to score goals, but as a coach, you must use a player for one reason yeah. so that is the reason why because of this assisting that is the reason why Tushe normally use him yeah. so that is it yeah. all right thank you so much man. football fans right here we interview Nigeria football fans after matches and we're giving Nigeria football fan content back to back so if you're new here please and i beg i beg click that subscribe button and thank you so much for watching